Hi everyone! Today we're going to learn how to play Close to 100, which is a multiplication game that I got from the website ucubed.org by one of my favorite math educators, Joe Bowler. So this is how to play Close to 100. You can play it by yourself or you can play it with a partner. I don't have a partner with me today, so I'm going to be playing as if I had a partner with two different color pins. But the idea of close to 100 is you are actually working with your partner, so you're not working against them. This is a team effort. And you're going to roll the dice, and each time you roll, multiply what you get, and you'll fill in an array of that same size. You and your partner will take turns until neither of you can fill in an array, and you'll see how close to 100 you have gotten. You'll notice that this is a 10 by 10 array. So there's a hundred squares here. Let me get started and I'll show you how it goes. So I'm going to say pink goes first. I'll roll my die. I got a four and a one. So I'm going to write down here four times one equals four. And I'm going to choose to color in a four by one array. Now it's blue's turn. Blue will roll. Ooh, blue got a five and a one. So blue writes down five times one is five, and then finds a place to color in an array there. Maybe blue decides to go one, two, three, four, five. Now it's pink's turn again. Ooh, five times four, that's 20. So I'm going to make a five by four array So this is where the game starts to get interesting because if I roll another five and a four, whether I'm the pink or the blue partner right now, I won't be able to put that array anywhere that I have left because it would have to be five by four. So I'm hoping that I get some threes or maybe a five, yeah, five times three or some threes that way or some twos because I might run out of room quickly. Let's see what we get. It's pink's turn. Oh no, pink got a five and a five. Friends, do you see anywhere on here that's left that I could fit a five by five array? It's not so pink is still going to write down five times five is 25, but is going to put a little line through it to show that we couldn't draw that. Now, the game isn't over because blue still has a chance. If blue rolls something that can fit in here, then we're super lucky because the game will keep going. But if blue rolls something that can't fit in here, then the game is over, and this is only as close as we got to 100. Let's see. So at this point, one or the other partner kept getting skunked, but then the next turn, that partner would get to play, which kept the game going until this very end. Now it's pink's turn again, and it's five times two, and there is no place left to do five times two. So pink will write this down. Five times two is 10 and make the line. And friends, when both partners get skunked in a row, that means the game is over. So we look at all of these arrays that we filled in and we see that there's only one, two, three, four left. Can you think in your head, how close to 100 did we get well, we got a 96 because we filled in 96 out of 100 squares on the array. I hope you and your friends do even better.